Hey, what's up guys? How you all doing? So, I got a prime chamber. Ha <laughs> ha! I got a prime chamber. Well, actually, it's not mine. I borrowed it off Nesimir and it only cost me one whole flame repellent mod. But I do have to give it back to him. So, prime chamber is that one rare mod that sells for an insane amount of platinum. 30,000, 40,000, up to as much as 50,000 platinum, depending on who's selling it and I guess depending on who's gullible enough to buy it as well. But is it worth that amount of platinum? Is anything in Warframe worth that amount of platinum? Hell feckin' no. It's a sniper only mod that will deal 100% bonus damage to your sniper's first shot. Only the first shot. So apart from it being limited to snipers only, it's also limited to the Vectus and kind of the Vectus Prime as well. If you run Depleted Reload on the Vectus Prime, that is, I guess that's one of those personal preference mods, or you would have to reload after every first shot. So your choices are basically limited between two sniper rifles in a game where you get swarmed by large groups of enemies. If you're not running a crowd control frame or not in a solid group, then things could get hectic pretty damn fast. The Vectus Prime is better than a normal Vectus, this much we know, but it's got a two round magazine. So you would have to reduce your magazine with Depleted Reload, or like I said, you would have to reload after every shot. The normal Vectus is weaker, but it has that one round in a magazine, so it's ideal for Prime Chamber. And using Prime Chamber on it, of course, will bump up its damage, but is it enough? Was it worth that 50,000 platinum that you just spent in order to put it on one of these sniper rifles? There are a lot of weapons in Warframe that can kill multiple enemies in one shot or bone through groups of enemies really fast. Regardless of what that enemy level is, once you're in a squad, I guess, that's running close in projection. The Tonkor, the Tigris Prime, the Cyanide Simulator, the Vaco Heck, and many, many more. Now that doesn't mean sniper rifles are bad, there are some incredibly good sniper rifles like the Rubico, like the Volcar Wraith and especially the Lanka. Sniper rifles also still suffer from ghost shots, that's never really been fixed. A ghost shot is where you will fire around at an enemy and nothing registers, even though you see that shot hitting home, no damage numbers show up. So what is the hype around Prime Chamber, why is it so popular and so many people want to get their hands on one? I think that maybe it's just one of those collector's things where players really want to get an item just so as they can say that they have one or that they had one, but it's really not worth the amount of platinum that people are selling it for. So when I was testing out Prime Chamber, I decided to jump into the Simulator Chrome and stick it on my Vectus Prime. Now my Vectus Prime build is a pretty straightforward build, so I decided to switch out Piercing Calibre for Prime Chamber and it was actually a nice damage boost. With Prime Chamber, I could kill a level 140 heavy gunner in three to four shots, but without Prime Chamber, it took nearly double that amount of shots. Remember, I'm in the Simulacrum and I haven't stripped enemies of their armor, so it does take a few shots to kill them. So in a group running corrosive projection, it will take a lot less to kill that enemy. Now, like I said, my build was pretty straightforward, building for crit, damage with elementals thrown in as well. Depleted reload is a personal choice on your Vectus Prime. You could always add in an elemental mod instead or stack charge chamber with prime chamber because of course both of them stack and you would get a bonus of 140% damage output. I also don't run with Argon Scope or Harkonar Scope on my Vectus Prime. Of course, they're also personal choice mods. Like always, mod to suit your own playstyle. As for the subject of this mod ever coming back into the game, Way, way back in Devstream 17, it was mentioned by Rebecca that this mod would be returning. They just had to find the right event to make it come back into the game. What was that, nearly three years ago, Devstream 17? But here we are at Devstream 81 and it's still not available. Maybe that's why we got Charged Chamber instead because Prime Chamber won't be coming back. Now, they have given away a few Prime Chambers on previous dev streams and, of course, on Prime Times as well to a few lucky winners. So, if you were one of those lucky winners, then yay you. You became very rich in Platinum overnight. Who knows, maybe we'll get the mod back on our 500-day login reward or 600-day or 1,000-day or 2,000-day. Who knows? Saying to me, Potato, it's an exclusive mod. It can't come back. Doesn't really work either in the game at the minute because many supposed exclusive items in game later got released again in the sortie reward table or as a returning event item nothing is exclusive in warframe don't go getting trapped into that mindset that this item will never come back into the game if you get it in an event because chances are it probably will with the exception maybe of excalibur prime maybe he's going to be the only true exclusive in the game and of course, there's always the downside that making Prime Chamber available again would probably make a lot of people angry. And history has taught us in Warframe that when certain items return that were supposed to be exclusive, 
players get angry and when players get angry bad things happen. When previous exclusive items got re-released our servers got DDoSed for a few days by those angry players who weren't happy that their platinum making mods no longer cost half of what they used to in the trade chat. Being unhappy is understandable, DDoSing not really understandable. But you guys let me know what you think. Is the mod worth 50,000 platinum? Is anything in the game worth 50,000 platinum? If so, then what would you spend 50,000 platinum? Me, gold rim tentacles for my hydrate. That's what I'd do. That's where it's all at. It's all at that gold trim. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Warframe. And as always, thanks very much for watching.